I feel bad for these guys. <laughs> there has to be something for doing this. At every one of them. Uh, zero, 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 zero. Zero. One, 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 one. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Well, there's two, five, five, four, seven. Oh, I guess that does fit when you don't. That last one. Uh, experimentation update, Dr. Campbell, six months ago. Project Nursery Rhymes, working title, Dr. Eugene Campbell, a year ago. Uh, doc from Dr. Campbell to Dr. Marmot, Marmont. And other Dr. Marmont. March 21st of uh, 2023 at 10 10 p.m. Here, both doctors. Here is the promised update on the project's first experimentations. The test items uh, used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls, the uh, iconic iconographic. The iconographic nature of the test items was uh, hypothesized to be beneficial for these research purposes. Test results? Negative. I will continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary, Dr. Eugene Campbell, the lead researcher, Department of Parafictional Research. Campbell, the name of the doctor from the first one? Guy? I think. Got eight, and then. Boilers for controls, DLC. I think you kill him there. That was pretty quick, I'm sorry. <laughs> Should have gave that a little more. <laughs> a little more, uh. Space there. <clears throat> Objective, research into the reality-altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction and art as a source, and manifesting the results into existence. Methodology, the FBC's intent in this uh, research pro project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, here and after referred to as fiction, in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. Hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting the events that have come to pass, but that are not known to their later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these part these past events after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration, or by the fiction itself being initiating force in its present timeline, using the creator as a conduit. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhyme texts with the specific function and with a specific function, and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed. Via a careful testing process, with the purpose of the story told in fiction manifesting itself into a variety of combinations, including the dolls, symbols, and rhymes, will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data, with the hopes that a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the testing, the testing based on. Bathroom. <coughs> God, I ran out of water. But it's getting dry. Location, arrangements, test sites in Cauldron Lake, by the way. Witchfinder's Station 2, Streamside 1, Cauldron Lake Rental Cab. Test happening here, one here, I guess. A little clothespin doll. No doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. That's something I can put 
next to the nursery rhyme. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> Shit. Huh? all fit anywhere here You're like on the boat you're brave and strong left home to right a wrong that doesn't really tell me where they is but left home on a boat makes sense a wolf came from uh, so if we find a wolf in the wood on the tree. Wolf so hungry, greedy and hungry, he ate what he found in the house without a host. The girl returned to find lost the thing. Where the fuck did other things go? I'll take you with me just in case. There was two tests happening in here. Found a doll in the first one. Oh wait. Good. Seven twenty-one. Twenty-one. <coughs> I assume. Tip of the day, when nature calls on a. When nature calls on a hike, check the direction of wind before answering. Cool. <laughs> awesome, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. Observations. Hikers have broken off branches and some of the trees down by the lake to make an illegal fire. Tried to fix some of the damage. Douse the area. Maybe put, uh, maybe put up more instructional signs? I also found some tracks I couldn't recognize. Pretty big. Wolverine? Or footprints that were smeared. Either way, they were wandering around in a strange pattern. Patterns. Might be a sick animal. We'll need to keep an eye out. Uh, July 24th. So three days later. Poem of the day. The sun, as she sleeps, knows not the woes of men. Who toss and turn and worry and fret. Wish they had... Her blissful slumber. Observations. Picked up a bunch of trash left by tourists despite posted guidance. Humans are the worst. Day. Out of the day. Every majestic pine was once a wee acorn. Observations. Uh, a lot of new growth in the area. Some of the saplings planted I planted earlier are really thriving. Must be all the rain. I don't mind it either. Great sound to sleep to. It's amazing what a good night's rest and a warm cup of tea can do. <clears throat> yeah, well. Take one of these toys. Something. Missing something. Like it. Okay. Oh. Five things. Hopefully, I find them elsewhere. Go there.
Motherfuck. It wasn't. Could have checked the map earlier. Just, I wasn't expecting this to be uncovered, honestly. I guess it is already uncovered. Like, look over here. It's dark because I've never been there. It's silly to me, though. here upstairs oh okay I'm missing three those are just test sites so there could be more dolls one of them. The stream side could have two. Or the cabin's gonna have two. Need three. Got a hero in woods. Wolf. Most likely the boat in the wood. Woods. At least that one tree. <clears throat> and this is the other place. Another one of those rhymes. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight. Four for a struggle, five birds for an injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. So is this like changing the scenarios in uh, the scenes for Alan? Would have to use the dolls to change this area? Eat all the dolls first, though. What'd I pick up? Pro doll. Not missing anything there. Cabin. Cabins. No, oh, the rental cabins are up there where I couldn't get into. Does red mean? Go like the long way? That leads down to the lake shore. We can back it out. Why not? Well, we can't. But we found today's catch: a yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught it. Uh, caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Saw an out of towner walking around in the woods just before did it just before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something. Taking notes uh, didn't notice me. Good. Don't need the attention. Today's catch. Another day's catch. Or maybe you kept going. Just an old rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies roaming around, uh, around again. Avoided them as usual. 
No one notice. No one notices a quiet old fisherman. Not even the fish. But considering you left your stuff here, <coughs> perhaps you were noticed. I don't know. I think I had 20 extra. So I made one extra. <laughs> cool. Profit. Where was that arrow pointing to? To the right. Trying to distract me from this page. Second witch's ladle. Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. Okay. At the ladle. Pointing me this way. end here. Dreamside stash key. Okay. That would... Oh. Seems like it. There's another arrow. Those are blocks. Blocked off. That's just the table, right? Uh, Another oh. locked box. The cult is watching right now. Whoa. I'm gonna come down. Got something for them. Yeah. Dropped nothing. Great.
there to fuck with me, huh? Alright. Let's go to the ladle. What? Dark. It is here. Was make a noise. Unless this was before. There was some dark substance on the boulder in the tree, right? I already did that. Yeah, I guess that's when that would have happened. That's after uh, Nine Gale got up. A little bit. <laughs> okay. Yes. Not. No. Been over there? That were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where Alan and AC were. Whatever. So. Huh. Go back. Try and do that. Go through the back. Get through. Didn't really check. But I don't know. I, I most likely just can't go in there. Until I get the bolt cutters. Wherever the hell those are. Maybe uh, we're just supposed to find out what happens to him, his wife, get pages. Right, this is the same room. I'll give it a quick one. You've done a bit.
That was a nice stop. Going further that way. Oh. I thought the <laughs> I was closer to that other entrance. Well, I am, but further in. I thought it was like right there. I have to head back. Got things to do. You won't let me check the back. Okay. Great. Awesome. Ah, right. I read this newspaper. It's broken. There we go. Gonna need bolt cutters. To check the general store again. Down, I can check the station. Really go down here. Check for Ed. Jump back. Really checked. There's stuff here. The rarest wildlife in the Pacific Northwest. Finally made my way to Cauldron Lake. The fence was easy to climb over. But the proper gear and skills, which thankfully I possess. Next goal, spotting the rare and uh, an elusive orange crowned warbler a little late in the season but hopefully i can catch it before it begins its journey south i've noticed intriguing behavior in the surrounding common bird life they seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake no bird of prey nearby there are some strange sounds carried on the wind however nothing i can recognize or explain getting a little concerned i might have to find another spot somewhere safer that sound the sounds are getting closer. <clears throat> oh god damn it. More. Moved inland. Foliage is stunning. Uh mu must come back and fall. I had to stop and sketch this gorgeous uh vine maple. Just the way the Methu Methuselin Methuselin's beard hangs off it. This is why the trees are better than people. Speaking of people, saw some drunk guys staggering around the forest earlier, acting weird. Maybe drugs? At my distance. Could probably find another spot. So annoying. 
After I saw the weirdo guy, I decided to change spots again. Moved up the mountain a bit. Found a fantastic overlook to camp at. Uh, but I'm more interested in this Alaskan onion grass. Um, face it, but edible and surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs or something like 10 minutes ago, but they sound wrong. Rabies? Want to leave, uh, but the sun is going down. And my stupid phone is dead. Gonna hide in the tent and hope they go away. Something is really not right about this place. <laughs> yeah, well... And you left your stuff. That's not good. Why? F. No? But you say- you- It says- Oh no, it doesn't. Ben's right there. At least the trail does. Nobody's here still. That's wide open. Okay. Whatever. Not my problem. Their problem. They won't even answer me at the at the gate buzzer. Ed's body on the table. Good. Check. Uh, oh. Back here. Behind. Check on him one more time. It's blaring. Where are you people? Oh, I just can't. Awesome. Up we go.
Hello, car. I just hit X. I don't know where it, it, that took me. Damn it. Yeah. <clears throat> Please. Huh? Why am I here? I parked the car all the way over there. Why am I, <laughs> why am I there? <laughs> what the fuck? I'd be next to the car. Watery, please. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this is a scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so... Just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Local girl. A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for everyone. For Watery! Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. <laughs> the flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. <laughs> I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Yeah, that was a good one. Hey, what did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that. Hello. But idle hands are the devil's playground. So. Well, us fishing types appreciate you all at least. The laughing Naki. Hey, where's the time gone? There's just a wretched husk of what used to be me left. For sale. Yeah. Watery's definitely quaint. How's it going? All right. I bet they have good fish here. Hold your mic. Fresh darkness fish. Oh, you rascal. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Oh. 
Bro? Is that you? Mati, what are you doing, man? Okay, then. Catchy tune. Who's fast? Eats Doi Me All Raffles Karaoke Skits Logi Cordoba Pust <laughs> No, no, come on, come on Is this Watery's own Nessie? An anonymous source uh, sent this photograph to our editors claiming it was captured during the last full moon majestic beast hidden in the depths of the water of our elaborate or an elaborate prank a sea creature that defies the laws of nature or a submarine relic from the cold war area a lonely wanderer searching for companionship and passion or a fearsome monster out for blood these questions among others haunt our editorial team here at the bright falls record after one of our avid readers sent in this mysterious photograph as evidence of an unidentified creature roaming Watery's waters and making a rare but opportune appearance. This titillating spot, uh, spotting might just be the event of the year. As we dive deeper into this mystery, we have uh, we here at the Bright Falls Record invite all of our readers to a naming competition. What should the local beast be called? Watery Wanda? Uh, Shelly the Sea Monster? Send in your suggestions now. More updates and revelations to follow as the story unfolds. Damn it. Welcome to the coffee world. One of a kind amusement park opens in Watery. I'm sure all of our readers know Ilmo and his brother Jacko has, uh, with the help of his brother Jacko, has been making it our small town of Watery a bustling hub with his various business ventures latest of these uh, coffee world has its grand opening just around the corner I had the chance to talk to Ilmo a few uh, to ask Ilmo a few questions about coffee world question Ilmo what is coffee world about I'm glad you asked coffee world is the world's greatest coffee themed amusement park for all ages and right here in our hometown of watery it's got all the rides thrills and excitement you could ask for and of course, lots of delicious fresh coffee, both hot and nice. Put that in. <laughs> How did this unique business idea come about? Well, as you know, I'm all about ideas. I'm an idealist, you could say. But what's even more important to me than uh, the, my many successful businesses in our hometown, with my help, we can revitalize Watery, build its uh, economy back up, bring the tourists back in, and enjoy ourselves uh, in the process too. Coffee World is just as much for the townspeople as it is for out-of-towners. Which attraction should the visitors be sure not to miss? Oh, that's like having to choose a favorite child. It's impossible. But the Slow Roaster is, of course, a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic. And the Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Also, don't forget to drop by the Fresh Pot gift shop on your way out. You'll never know what treasures you might find. Coffee, at, at least, I bet. Yes. A save room. Oh. You that the beer. Dear. Anything in here that I can... I can switch realities here, too. Can't go in there, though. Ask that lady some questions. Nothing. That's fantastic. Hello there. Excuse me. 
Do you know oh, where? Auntie's in the middle of a show. Rose. I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. You also work here? Terrifyingly strange dive into the dark depths of an artist's mind. A film by Thomas Sam. Tom the Poet. A pinprick of light in an ocean of darkness starring Thomas Zane as the diver. Barbara Jagger as the dark presence. Cynthia Weaver as the lady of the light. And Neil Hartman as the assistant. Written and directed by Thomas Zane. Based on a novel by Alan Wake. How the fuck is that possible? <laughs> it did Thomas Bain get out? He made a movie? <laughs> the dark doppelganger in the art and life of Thomas Zane. Discussing Zane's early career in Finland, his artist uh, commune in Bright Falls, his lost work, Tom the Poet, his mysterious disappearance in 1970, playing his own dark uh, double in this in his films, The Poet, The Writer, and The Diver. The poet, The Writer, the diver, the diver, Thomas the Rhymer. This is the 24th of November, 2023. So yeah, I guess he got out as well. I'm like, hey, I'm back. What happened to you? Uh, don't worry about it. I just <laughs> took a break. Anyway, I got these sick ideas for some movies. And Alan Fockham. I have the watery. Oh, I can talk to someone out here? You? Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Uh, looking for a Can trailer? Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Ilmo Koskela owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. You're from around here? You seem to know me. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You have seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? What the f- Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Um... There's a trailer park, you know, that's where Rose lives, or used to live. The percolator. Oh, it's Coffee World. Can't get the Coffee World blocked right now. Get to the lighthouse, or at least. What's it? Shoreline? Yes. There's the lighthouse trailer park. That's the workshop. That's the gift shop. Over here, radio tower. Same radio tower. Uh, I just saw her name. Light lady. That's nice light lady. What was it? Cynthia Weaver. Played herself? 
that, that movie poster gives me questions. Barbara Jagger is also Thomas's wife. Allowed past this. Hey, Saga! Over here! Ilmo, just the man I was looking for. Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. It does, and he didn't act like that before. We introduced ourselves like it was the first time. What, what the fuck? Uh, about Are that cult. Are you call? familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but... Uh, now it's got him pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. And for a trailer. You're all in the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Or you were never an FBI agent. You were just a resident here. And Alan wrote you as an FBI agent. In case he shouldn't, isn't a, like, shouldn't be a person in this world, but made Casey a real person. So what is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? I did. Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even there. had a real moose until recently. Damn. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. Uh huh. That was a. Suspicious thing to say. So, your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. <clears throat> well, I've seen. Will give me the answers. Two. Um, I'll look for the other four. Profiling. Urban legend. Ilmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Well. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. 
The Coscula brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. Where's I need the key to you? that trailer. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Good. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. Yep. Nothing? What am I paying them for? Guess they're busy. Ay, Vito, Vito. Well, after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that, uh, thing. Yep. Must yep. be busy at the park. These are all peak hours, Yako. They're just slacking. I think it's just gonna ring. Case board, I have a bunch of shit, right? Lunchbox, up there. Another lunchbox, it's also up there. Only missing three. For that area. Creepy dolls, mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Fake rhymes, watery line rhymes, right? Change dolls. <clears throat> nah. What? Not the rhyme? Best sites and <laughs> Nope. What are these made them? Down there, is this here also? Ashes all up here. One. Sorry, what's this? The for later one. Right. Fact we fix Wait, says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Which parts are false? Which, if any, are real? On the trailer park where I supposedly live calls me his funniest resident. <sighs> Life and watery? Rose recognized me in the diner at Bright Falls. Says I moved away after Logan died. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Logan's part in the story. Oh, 
called Plum. There is a trailer park nearby called Watery Lighthouse. A trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. Knows the spare keys of the trailers are in the Coffee World gift shop. Safe. Yemo is certain that I used to live here. That I owned a trailer here. That I am a member of the community. The Coscellas think I lived in the trailer park. With Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Why aren't mine affected? The spare key is a coffee room. Like First like the witches at the diner. Now the Coscellas. They all think Logan and I used to live here. Wake said the horror story would make people crazy. Like they're being brainwashed to believe the story. Is it spreading? I'm gonna go give this a save. Get myself some water. Holy shit. Uh, manual. There we go. There we go. Thank you.